Right, hello, my name is Fred and I am uploading this video because I am starting my journey with jaw surgery, which is fun. Um, long story short, I have a pretty bad overbite, like a normal overbite if you don't need braces or whatever, couple mil, and then if you do need braces to suit to fix your overbite, I think it's like seven, eight mil from what they were saying. My overbite is like 15, 20 mil, so yeah, my, the only way to fix my overbite is with jaw surgery, with metal plates going in my jaw and whatnot, so this, I'm just making some videos to document the whole process. Uh, I'm going to try and make an update every time I go there to the hospital to have something done. And yeah, these are, this is what's happened so far, basically. Right, so, today is the 27th of July, and yesterday, as you can see, I just had my braces put on. Now, I've always needed braces, pretty much, and I've never had them put on, but from what I've learned, from what the doctors are saying and whatnot, even if I had braces earlier in my life, when I was like early teens or whatever, when most people get them, um, I would still have to have had this process done anyway, because my overbite keeps getting worse and worse, and if I don't have this surgery done, there's a threat that as my jaw keeps going backwards, that it could just cut off my breathing, which obviously isn't ideal. So, this is part of... Well, this is the first part. Well, this is actually the second part of this whole process. First part was on the 26th of May. I had six teeth taken out. So I had all four of my wisdom teeth taken out at the same time. And also on the bottom row, sort of about here, I had two lower teeth taken out. Because I had two baby teeth where there was no adult teeth growing underneath them. So they had to come out. And with the braces and whatnot, this whole treatment, because there's now a gap there on the bottom row, can you? There you go, you can see it there. And on that side as well. Um, basically, with these braces and whatnot, they're going to close, apparently, from what I've learned, they're going to try and close up that gap. So, it looks like it was never there in the first place. So, yeah. So yeah, you've, you're currently watching this. It's not even been 24 hours since I've had these braces on. And uh, still getting used to them. I apologise if I'm a bit hard to understand. Because <laughs> obviously, um, I've never had anything like, done like this before. Um, hopefully I'm not too hard to understand. And I'm actually making a bit of sense. But yeah, it's just a case of getting used to them. I haven't eaten anything solid yet. I've only had soup. Um... My next trip to the hospital is the 26th of September, I believe. And that's where they're doing some extra bits. So I've got the, I've got the RA sun at the minute. But um, I don't have any elastic bands or anything on them. Uh, they're doing that at a later date. They, they couldn't uh, put the, the back bits of my brace on, the ones on the very back, because of... Um, just how my mouth is basically my cheeks are like pretty much just touching the back of my the back teeth like all the time and it just meant they had difficulties putting them on so they said they're going to do them in another session and put the elastic bands and whatnot on then so at the minute uh just the metal bits um yeah after that happens I'll try and make an update, see how things are getting on. Like I said, I'm not in any massive pain at the minute. There's a bit of pressure on my teeth. I've just to explain how I'm feeling at the minute. Like sort of like if you imagine like if you got your fingers like that and just done that, pressed against your teeth, kind of what it feels like. Um, yeah, no general discomfort. Hopefully, in the next couple of days, I try and eat something soft like pasta or something. I don't know. Uh, mashed potatoes apparently quite nice or quite easy but yeah uh, I reckon the biggest problem with this for me is uh, can't really have fizzy drinks I love a fizzy drink I 
Pepsi Max. <laughs> it's a that's a bit of me, but yeah. Um, this uh, it's not really. I'm not trying to get my message out there to people. I'm just putting this on YouTube as just a place to track uh how things look. Um, what I'll try and do as well is I'll try and put a photo up of what my teeth looked like before. <laughs> Although it might be a bit difficult because I absolutely hate being in photos. Like, I, and if I am in a photo, I'm never smiling. Like, I never have my teeth out. Like, it's just who I am, really. <laughs> Miserable bastard. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no. Um, I try and get a before photo, or the best one I can, show my teeth. And um, yeah, I. If this helps anyone, if anyone wants to follow the journey. That's up to you. Uh, I'm not doing it for those reasons. I'm not trying to get famous. I'm not trying to get popular. Whatever. I'm literally just using this as like a video memory bank, if you will. Um. And yeah, we'll see how things get on. Um. I just thought I'd add at the end that uh, I'm currently I'm 22 years old. I'll be 23 in. Uh, a couple months, 5th September, my birthday, so I'll be 23. And they reckon that this whole process is probably going to take potentially two to three years. Hopefully sooner, because it just depends how the uh, the teeth decide to move in my mouth. If I take care of them and whatnot, hopefully it'll be quicker. And also, I thought I'd explain, as you can see, I've got the uh, black rubbers on my on my brace uh just thought i'd explain that <laughs> they present you with basically when you're getting them put on if anyone's going to be going down this process they give you like a they give you like a color palette and they're like look we've got all these nice colors but uh pretty much long and short of it is the darker the color that you go for uh it gives the illusion that your teeth look whiter so i was like yeah you got all these beautiful colors Give me black, like, <laughs> give me the darkest colour you got. So, yeah. Uh, I like changing, because you can change them every time you go in there, into the hospital. You go into the hospital every four to six, uh, six to eight weeks, sorry. You can change the colour on there if you don't like it, and you're not getting along with it. But, yeah, I just thought I'd uh, explain those. But yeah, that's where we are at the minute, and uh, I'll do another update video once I've been to the hospital. Thank you.